Hi everybody, I'm Mike Townsend with Golden Artist Colors. Today we're going to be talking about the Golden Isolation Coat and how to apply it. Isolation Coat is a preparation for acrylic paintings that are going to be varnished. The product name describes its role in isolating acrylic colors from the removable varnish. An isolation coat is a permanent clear acrylic medium covering a painting. This locks down any underbound pigment that may be on the surface of your painting and provides a protective barrier for varnish application and removal. Isolation coats are for acrylic paintings only and not to be used on oil paintings or watercolors or any water soluble media. An isolation coat makes application and removal of varnish easier by reducing the differences in surface absorbency and texture in acrylic colors, mediums, and grounds. For each square foot of your painting, you'll need about one ounce. You may need more if your painting is really absorbent or textural, but if it's very smooth and non-absorbent, maybe you'll need less. It's vital to make sure you have enough isolation coat available before you begin. A wide flat brush with short, soft bristles is ideal for this application. Using a high quality brush limits the number of brush strokes and bubbles left behind the process. Load the brush about halfway up the bristles on both sides. About every five or six inches, apply some product onto the surface. So what we're doing is we're making a series of sevens that allows me to offload both sides. Now, spread the product out, coming close to the edge, but not all the way to the edge so it doesn't run all over the place. Then make sure to cover the edges of your painting by working from the outside in. Make sure the entire painting is covered with an even wet coat. Use the brush to pull off excess material. Most importantly, don't overwork the isolation coat. Stop while the entire surface is still wet. Working the isolation coat as it starts to dry is going to really increase the chance of bubbles and brush strokes being left behind in the painting. So now we've waited a couple of hours. We're going to take a look at the surface. Look for any unevenness, any dull spots, any areas that would mean that we'd want to do a second coat. So there's a lot of factors that influence how long you need to wait before varnishing the paint. So remember, even if the acrylic painting is completely dry, when you apply the isolation coat, you're reintroducing moisture back into the painting. There's no replacement for time in the process of applying varnish coats or isolation coats. You need to allow these layers to dry before going to the next application. We also recommend that you test and practice with these materials and techniques before using them on a painting you care about. So in the long run, the isolation coat protects the painting so that the varnish can do its job until it needs to be removed. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please give us a call.